Okay guys, welcome back. Hopefully you've got to grips with those first two sections and you're getting more and more comfortable with the rhythm and some of the little tricks, the dive bombs and the pick scrapes that we looked at in the last lesson. Okay, we're gonna continue on now with the next few bars. I'll just play through the next example that we're gonna look at and we'll see how we get on. You'll see I'm gonna use a little bit more gain for this part as there's a few harmonics and things like that that are a little bit tricky to play unless you've got the right kind of sound going on. So, here we go. Okay, so we'll have a look at the first chord we're going to look at is a B sus4, okay? Now we're going to play it using the open strings, strings one and two, okay? So we're going to be playing like a power chord, but with strings one and two ringing out, and it's going to give us a sus4 kind of sound, okay? So we're going to be playing first finger on the second fret of the fifth string, third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, and your little finger on the fourth fret of the third string, okay? Now, we want to take care that our fingers are arching, you know, we've got some bridges over those first two strings because we want those to ring out for this chord, okay? So we've got this. Okay. And then we're just going to play a little open string pattern at the end of that, so we've got this. Okay. So let's try that again. Slow it down, we've got... So I'm using upstrokes on strings one, two, and three. Okay. We'll put it together. Okay. Now as soon as we've gone, for, we play that chord, we're going to go to an A sus four to an A major. We're going to play this. Okay, so we've got a few little bits and pieces going on there. We're going, we're playing the sus4. And we're going to be muting notes in between playing the major part of the chord and then the open fifth string muted. So we've got... We're playing just a first position A major chord. Okay. So I've got the sus4 to major. And then I'm going to be putting a muted fifth string in then back to the major. So we've got this. Then after that, another two muted fifth string notes, so. Okay, so I'll slow it right down. And then we're just gonna play the whole A chord. So we've got this. time. I'll put into context with the B sus chord that we did before. One more time. While that chord's ringing out, it gives us a little bit of time to do a little, little trick. We're going to use a, an artificial harmonic. Now, <clears throat> some of you may have already come across artificial harmonics, some of you may have not. What we're going to be doing to, to achieve the artificial harmonic is we're going to be digging right into the string. You want to have as little of the pick showing as you can. And we're hitting, basically hitting the string with the pick and our thumb kind of at the same time. Okay, now you're gonna to need to have quite an overdriven sound to get the most of this. So we're gonna play, I'll just put it into context for you and I'll explain a bit more about the technique. So we've got. Okay, you wanna dig right in. Now, depending on where you hit the string is gonna alter the sound of the harmonic. If you hit it over the front pickup, we get that kind of sound. If you hit it over the back pickup, you know, 
whatever you know if it suits your taste wherever you feels comfortable for you to play it whatever sound you're looking for it's going to it's going to change depending on where you hit the string with your pick so again i'm just going to slow it down and i'm just going to So it's probably advisable to sit down, just getting used to trying to hit the string in that way. Try it in different places, okay? <clears throat> and you know, until you feel comfortable with it. Once you've got, you know, where you like the sound of it and everything, you know, put it into context. So we've got. And give it loads of vibrato. We've not really spoken a lot about vibrato during this course so far, but you know, this is rock, this is sort of, you know, more modern rock vibrato. It wants to be as wide as possible. Some people say a tone wide, might be a little bit dick straight, but at least a semitone wide rock vibrato. You know, we could be pulling down and up, pulling down on the lower strings, and then up on the higher strings. Okay, so when we're doing this rock vibrato, you wanna be, you know, really giving it some oomph. All right, so I'll put that into context with the rest of the, the lick, so the beginning part of the lick that we did there. So we've got. I should point out that I'm playing a little muted ghost note just before the harmonic. So I'm playing the open fifth string and then hitting the harmonic, the artificial harmonic. Okay, so one more time through there. Again, it's kind of a little bit of a game of chance what kind of sound you get when you hit the harmonic. Sometimes it'll be absolutely mega squealing and sometimes it might be a bit, little bit less so. Don't worry about it, it's all, it's all good, all sounds good. Okay, so the next part, we're gonna repeat that. <clears throat> repeat the section with B sus chord and the A chord, but we're not gonna put the harmonic on. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do after that part. So we've got this. Okay, so once, once we get to the A chord, so once we've, once we've got the... So we're gonna hold it until... We're gonna give it two eighth note strums. And then a C sharp power chord. Okay, so I'll put that into, into context with the rest of it. Okay, one more time, slow down. And then comes the real fun part. We're going to play some natural harmonics. 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 So before we did an artificial harmonic, which is where we're creating the harmonic by digging into the string, making it squeal. This one is. We're going to be fretting the string. Just we're not going to be fretting the string. We're going to be resting our finger above the fret, just lightly on the on the string, and then letting the harmonics come out. Now we're gonna be using these at fret four for strings three and two, and fret five for string one. Now they're pretty tricky to get down here. Um, you might wanna practice doing them on, if you've not really looked at natural harmonics, you might wanna practice looking at them somewhere around the 12th fret where they're easier to sound out, or the seventh fret. They're a lot easier to, to get them to, to, to ring out. Um, whereas fret four, at the third and second string, Gets, gets, kind of gets a little bit tricky. So you want to practice that. <clears throat> the thing is I'm using, so I'm using finger one for fret four for the third string and second string harmonics. And I'm using my third finger for fret five on the first string. I just find that's the most comfortable way of doing it just because if, to use your second finger there would be a little bit awkward. Um, so nice and slow, the harmonics, Excuse me, see that they're, they're not easy guys, okay? So <laughs> take your time with this. 
okay? It gives us a really interesting effect, especially when we put it in with the rest of the riff, okay? So I'm just gonna show you the second time round where we go to that part. So we got this. Nearly got him. Okay, so I'm gonna slow it right down and we're gonna loop the first part of the riff, which has the artificial harmonic, and then the second part of the riff, which has the um, natural harmonic. Okay, here we go. Okay, so again guys, just like the other riffs, take your time, just slowly through it, working on getting those harmonics to ring out as much as you can. Again, it's not gonna be a 100% guarantee thing every time, you gotta be really accurate, you know. But <clears throat> when you're playing the riff at speed, it's gonna be fine.